Now, what are the sources of energy? There are basically two sources of energy: non-commercial and commercial. Now, as we all know, twenty-two percent of our population lives below poverty line. So, as it is, it becomes very clear that they are not in a state to afford commercial source of energy because they do not have the money to buy that energy. So, they depend on non-commercial sources of energy. Or the traditional sources of energy. Besides those twenty-two percent, seventy percent of our population lives in rural areas. They are also they either don't have the access to commercial energy or they cannot afford it. So on an average, we can say nearly fifty percent population is such that cannot afford commercial energy. And out of that fifty percent, twenty-two percent. Still survive only on non-commercial sources or traditional sources of energy. What are these non-commercial sources? Non-commercial sources are the ones that are available in nature and they are used in that form only. They are the measures that were have been used since ages. They are the natural fuels like the fuel wood, the forest wood that people collect. You must have seen people go to the nearby forest to collect wood, which they used as For cooking purpose and all, and then there are agricultural waste that are left. There, that is also used as a fuel for them. Then animal energy is used in the form of their animal waste is used as dung cakes and all. That is also used for cooking purpose. And then people use bulls and oxes for ploughing. So they use animal energy for that purpose also. So twenty two percent of the population uses non commercial sources or traditional sources of energy. The rest of the population uses commercial sources of energy. What is commercial? That is processed and used. Commercial energy is also of two types. There are conventional methods, and then there are non-conventional. Conventional energy sources are the ones that are non-renewable, non-renewable, non-renewable. They cannot be renewed. Once used, once used, they cannot be used again. And whereas renewable sources are the ones that can be used again and again, these non-conventional uses energy sources are have been recently recognized, and government is trying to promote them because once they are used renewable, you can use them and again and again, and second, they do not spread pollution. Whereas These conventional sources are a major source of pollution because their carbon emission is very high. Similar is the case with the non-commercial or the traditional sources. They are also very polluting in nature. If you come across a picture of NASA of India, you see from above you see a thick uh, cloud of smoke. This is because this of emission from these resources. it has led to such high level of pollution in our country and so now the government is trying to promote the use of non conventional sources like solar energy and wind energy and water energy and biomass so the conventional sources of energy are coal which is a very important source of energy petroleum natural gas etc and the non conventional sources are solar wind water energy and biomass so we understand now from where do we get the energy there are non commercial sources and commercial sources non commercials are the one that the traditional ones natural fuels like firewoods and agriculture waste and dung cakes and bulls and oxes and animal energy when it is used and commercial are the conventional and the non conventional ones conventional one are coal petrol gas etc whereas the non conventional ones are the solar energy wind energy and water energy 